Good morning, Redemption Hill. This is Mike Cunningham with our Thursday devotion. Well, guys, I'm standing in front of my elementary school. Now, for some of you guys, you're thinking, whoop de doo mine's down the street. I still live near there. But for most of my life, probably at least the last 20, 30 years, uh, I have lived probably a thousand or more miles away from this place. And so it's kind of fun to look around and see how it's held up and kind of walk the old neighborhood and say, wow, this is where we caught crawdads, that's where we rode bikes, that's where we saw Star Wars, you know, the, you know, the whole hood, right? And so it's just kind of fun to get that, uh, that look. And so it reminds me that each of us have a past and each of us have a history. And sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes that, that's a bad thing. I mean, I can think of great memories here and great memories in this neighborhood. I can also think of not so good ones and we're shaped not only by our positive circumstances, but also lessons we learned through poor decisions or through difficult circumstances. And so today as we enter our devotion, I just wanna remind us that even though we are in some cases the product of some of our experiences and we're shaped and we're molded for the good and for the bad uh, by those, we're not defined by them. For example, if you had a great childhood it's important to hold on loosely to that, to be grateful for the parts of that that are, that are great, but also realize that you don't want that to hold you back. And sometimes, again, you've got to gaze forward and glance back and so, so don't, you'll get stuck. Uh, if you, say, came from a difficult circumstances, hard life lessons, trauma, uh, you know, dysfunction, uh, I want to remind you that you are not defined by that and you're not held to that. The gospel liberates us and moves us forward in our lives so that we can follow hard after God. Uh, there's, uh, you know, as far as the east is from the west, so far are your sins removed, are your transgressions removed from you. So you can pray, receive healing, and move forward. Uh, you also are a new creation in Christ that, that put off the old, the the new has come and you're a new creation and you want to move forward. So if you have trauma or, or problems in your life, just remember that God has bigger plans for you moving forward. Finally, I just want to remind you guys that so many times our, our, our focus is on the tangible, the, the here and now, and, 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 uh, and we look back on the, on the solid things. And again, many times God gives us great things to remember and tangible memories that, that guide us and move us forward. So maybe this morning, as you're, as you're in your devotion, think of some, some, I don't know, some experiences that molded you, made you who you are today, both good and bad. And on the good ones, look at those and say, you know, how has this developed my faith? How has this developed who I am? And, and, and move me forward. Then look at the bad ones and say, what has God delivered me from? What has God given me victory over? What does God still need to give me victory over as I move forward to serve him with my life? Today, I just want, I invite you uh, to look at the following scripture passage and uh, just read it over today. And, and, and in, that, in that passage, I want you to think about moving forward, gazing forward, glancing back, glance back and appreciate, gaze forward, for all that God is calling you to and all God will do. Keep focus. Again, don't look around at others. Don't look at comparisons. Don't play that game. F focus on what God has in store for you today, how you can be obedient through him, through his word, and through his actions and how he's leading you, and see how God can do miracles in your life and those around you. Have a great day.